Today my video is going to be about a great Mexican artist who is considered to be part of an art movement of the early to mid 20th century, Franny Rabel. The first piece is called Ronda en el Tiempo, meaning round in time, made in 1964. This piece is a mural that can be seen at the National Anthropology Museum in Mexico. It's important to look at a mural of hers because even though not all of her art are murals, it should be acknowledged that she is considered the first modern female muralist. This particular mural depicts children holding hands in a line, seeming to lead to a pile of skulls or a woman telling stories. She is considered to be a strong critic of society, especially when it comes to children. With that being said, I think that this mural has a focus on the child in the middle of one side who's being pulled towards the storyteller, while the other is schooled. When I first saw this mural, I imagined it is specifically how it is the job of society to teach our children and lead them to their future. The mural also uses color and contrast with the background to further ignite a response by emotion in the viewer. The next piece that we will be looking at was made in 1966 called La Mente, or The Mind. I found this piece interesting because her perspective of a mind, as we can see, has three faces. To me, this can mean the literal three parts of the brain, cognitive, affective, and cognitive. However, the detail in how the lines are used to meet the focus, or center, at the top makes me feel as if this isn't so literal, but has more to do with outside voices. This makes more sense to me because Fanny Rabel tends to base her art off of society, typically criticizing them. This could be criticizing how people's minds in society are often no longer their original thoughts, but swayed by outside voices. I also believe that this is focused on one brain and not the little scientific three parts of the brain because of how the color is used to focus to the top center of the piece. Now that we've analyzed a couple pieces of Fanny Rabel's art, I will talk about her life while more pieces are shown. It is important to know where she came from because it helps the audience understand where her perspective comes from as well. Fanny Rabel was born in Poland and raised Jewish. Her family had been, had been moved to Mexico before she became a well-known artist. She uses her Jewish beliefs in many of her artworks. Usually she depicts sad people that would relate to what the Jewish people had gone through in the past. Like you can see in this picture, you can see the pain and hurt in the people's facial expressions. Many people believe that most of her art comes from experiences that different groups of people had to face and they represent the feelings that come from it. While looking at her art, you might recognize a style or two from other famous artists such as Frida Kahlo and Diego Rivera. This is not a coincidence. This is because she had worked closely with the two of them in a group called the Fritos. Frida Kahlo was a mentor to her, not to mention that Fanny Rabel was the only girl artist to have her as a mentor. The next piece of art that we will look at by Fanny Rabel is called Woman Holding a Baby, made in 1958. I wanted to look at this piece to appreciate the detail in Fanny Rabel's work. Her use of shading in this drawing makes the drawing look three-dimensional. Also, the lines used to create a visual of texture. Look at the woman's hair, for example. She uses shading and lines to make the hair feel real. Another reason why I chose woman holding a baby is because it differs from most of her typical drawings. Usually, her drawings would draw to focus people in them. This one only shows the eyes of a baby. The last piece is more typical of what Fanny Rabel would create. This is called Campesina, which means farmer. At this point, Fanny is still a struggling artist trying to get by, and this is a life she wants to convey in her art. The purpose of her painting drawings and murals is to show or expose the pain in people's everyday life rather than the happiness. Along with this, she likes to show the struggles of the poor. In this particular artwork, you can see the exhaustion and sadness in the face facial expression of the farmer as he works. 
This is a very typical thing to see in the artwork of Fanny Rabble. Again, if you look at this piece of art, you can see the detail even in the hands. She uses a lot of shading and lines, just like the last picture, except this one is more comfortable for her because it shows the expression of the people like she typically would do.